We're Chris and Gabby. We're just your average couple with a passion for wildlife. Okay, or not so average. We're professional animal handlers living in South Florida. We work with dangerous animals on a daily basis. Nothing is off limits, and we never know what kind of crazy animal we're going to run into next. Join us as we explore, adventure, and travel to new and amazing places. Welcome to our wild world. Hey guys, so we're out at this spot. It's a pretty clear area and I'm gonna hop in with my underwater housing and try to get some underwater shots of fish and turtles and things like that in the area. Yeah. Yeah? And yeah. What, are, what are you gonna do? I might hop in in a little bit, but obviously we do live in Florida. We have two million alligators here, so I might just stay and play lookout for you. Just All right. in case. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah, we'll have to see. Whenever you're swimming in Florida, it's safe to assume that there's an alligator present. With an estimated 2 million American alligators in Florida, they have even been found in puddles, especially during the dry season. This is why it's so important to be aware. You'll notice in the video that Chris is looking on his sides and right behind him every couple of seconds to make sure an alligator hasn't crept up and is right behind him. The mangroves provide perfect shelter for fish, turtles, and potentially other small aquatic animals. And where there are small prey animals, there are also predators. This is a tail drag from an alligator. If you follow us on Instagram, then you already know that Chris and I work extremely hard to break the stereotypes surrounding alligators. They are not bloodthirsty animals seeking people out. They're actually pretty shy. However, your risk of being attacked by one goes up when you're in the water. Now, obviously, we advise people not to go swimming in the water in Florida. This is a 13 foot long wild alligator, and you can see on his back, he has marks likely from an even larger alligator. Chris has been a professional alligator handler and behavior expert for over a decade. He knows what he's doing, and he also knows how to read the situation and the animal's body language. It's also really important to understand that harassing wild alligators in Florida is illegal. Chris is keeping a safe and respectable distance from the animal. And as you can see, it's unfazed. He's not running away. He's not backing up. Chris isn't bothering him. And once he gets his shots, he's on his way. A lot of people ask if alligators have blue eyes. Alligators have different eye colors, most commonly either brown or green. However, the eyes do appear blue when they're underwater. Like many animals, alligators have a nictitating membrane or a third eyelid. They flip that membrane up and over their eye when they're underwater. It's basically a pair of goggles for them, and this is why their eyes appear blue. Depending on the size of the alligator, they have the potential to hold their breath from two to six hours. It's not uncommon to see an alligator with just its nostrils and eyes above the water. This is where they do most of their hunting anyway. And that's actually why it's so dangerous to swim with them. When the alligator's hunting above the surface, they're only seeing your head when you're in the water. So you don't look like a big person anymore. Now you look like potentially easy prey for that alligator. And that's why we recommend never swimming with them. Hey guys, so I just got out of the water. I definitely got some pretty cool shots. Uh, there were some 
huge bass in there. I don't think I got any good shots of the bass because they, they just took off. But there were some that, I mean, like huge bass in there. So that was really cool. I was able to get a couple shots and a little bit of video of the alligator too. Uh, on that note, you know, everybody was asking me, how do you do this safely? The answer is you don't. It's not safe. All right, they're, they're alligators, okay? Like you see me working with alligators in captivity all the time and they're very calm and easy going because we work with them, we train them, we habituate them. And the wild doing this kind of stuff is very dangerous. I do not recommend anybody ever goes into the water where alligators are present. It's a really, really bad idea. Even knowing everything that I know and having handled alligators like professionally for what, 16 years, I do not recommend anybody going in there. And even knowing what I know, I get nervous in there. Like, I'm not going to lie. It does get scary. What happens is if you're on the surface and you're swimming along, and he's on the surface, from his point of view, he only sees the top of your head, your arms moving, you look small enough to be prey. And that's how I have had even a small alligator try to attack me in the water like that. And even a little alligator like that gets up behind you, you don't see it coming, grabs your head, <laughs> neck's broken. That's it even a little gator like that. And it's not like he's trying to eat you as an adult man or an adult person. Uh, you know, it's just the idea that he sees something small to be prey from his point of view and he's going to come in and he's going to investigate it, you know? So that, that's what you worry about. So a lot of people also ask me when I'm doing this kind of stuff, what do you do if an alligator does come after you? Um, Honestly, it's it's like, what do you do if somebody tried to mug you? It's going to depend on what the situation is, what exactly happens, what is the area, the location you're in, what are you doing, what are they doing to try to get you. There's a lot, a lot of variables going on right there, and there's no like, well, if you do this, you'll be safe. It, it doesn't work like that. You know, reality is very messy. So when I'm out here, I just try to really keep my head on a swivel, look around all the time, always be aware. I had Gabby help and watch out for me out there. Um, but, you know... Best thing you do is don't get yourself in this kind of a situation. Don't ever go out where there are alligators. Um, you know, again, I love getting out there and getting shots of them, getting video, and I want to share that stuff with you guys, but I absolutely don't want to influence somebody to come out and try this on their own. I understand I've been doing this my whole life, and it is still very dangerous to me, so definitely don't go out and do it on your own. Um, keep in mind, it is also against the law to feed or harass alligators. Like, uh, when I see him out here, I can get a couple shots of him. If he swims away... I don't pursue it. I don't chase them. I don't harass them. And you absolutely never, ever, ever feed them. That's really, really big, too. You can get in serious legal trouble for that. And then also, a fed gator is a dead gator. Once you feed them, they learn to associate you with food. You don't have the food. You or somebody else could be the food. Makes it very dangerous for people. But then also, they lose their fear. They hang around. And then they get killed for that. You know, they're seen as a threat when they lose their fear. So don't ever feed them anything like that. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we're going to put in some of the photos I took today, and then we'll also add in a couple other older alligator photos I've taken in the wild, just because, you know, it's really cool, and we're kind of on that topic, so let's add a couple of those in, too. Due to the danger factor, Chris does not take the general public or anybody swimming with wild alligators. But if you want to come meet an alligator safely and photograph it, you can do one of his underwater alligator tours. This tour takes place at the Everglades Outpost Wildlife Sanctuary in Homestead, Florida. And you can come meet Casper, our 10-foot rescued nuisance alligator. For more information, you can email Chris at chrisgillettewildlife at gmail.com. And please do not attempt anything that you've seen in today's video.